we already have an example of when one major superpower, economic superpower, collapsed. It's the former Soviet Union, broke down starting in the late 80s. In the next eight years after the dissolution of the Soviet Empire, Russia recorded 54% of all deaths that occurred in those, that eight-year period were attributable to alcohol, mostly in middle-aged men. Primarily because now this is this is Russia, right? So it's communist. So people, they don't, they weren't kicked in the street. They had government housing. They have government food. They're not starving. They lost their jobs. They lost their emotional connection to what gave them a sense of purpose, right? I am a pipe fitter. I'm out of work. I can't really provide for my family. For men, that's a really hard thing. That provide and protect gene just gets gets twanged, and so they went into a process of checking out, of emotionally checking out. Alcohol is a favorite, but you could check out with video games, too much TV, too much exercise, too much whatever, right? This is a process that we see happening over and over again. Uh, it's already visited the United States, my country. In 2010, suicides overtook car accidents as the leading cause of non-natural death in this country. That just reflects that people are checking out, and this is when the economy is going through what I'm going to call a minor hiccup compared to what's coming next. The lesson is this. It wasn't the economic collapse that killed the people in Russia. It was their response to it. That's where emotional resilience comes in. So until you can start decoupling and dehooking, so if your story is my worth as a human is connected to my job, if you don't start unhooking that before your job goes away, it's going to be a very rough transition. So the work we're doing in emotional resilience is around this idea of how can we begin uncoupling those hooks that if we don't do it ourselves, will get ripped out of us and it's really going to hurt, It'd be a very painful process. So the key was what you said was is just starting to adjust to this idea that the future is going to be different. It's taking our expectations of the future and um, you can still hold on to the same expectations, but just widen the viewpoint up, right? It could be way better than we thought, but it might be way worse. It's just getting rid of that idea that we know where we're going and how this is gonna turn out.